Hello, my name is Toby and I'm one of the members of staff here at Acorns in Warsaw. Uh, we appreciate how uh, it can be quite anxious for new families to come to us and so today I've been asked to put together a little video tour to give you a bit of insight into our hospice and the things that we do. There'll be a lot for you to get used to, maybe a different routine, a different building, lots of staff to get to know. So hopefully by looking at this video clip it may help to give you a bit of insight into what we do and to allay any anxieties that you may have. And what better place to start than here at reception where you will always have a warm welcome from one of our staff or volunteers. We take things like hygiene and security very seriously. So when you come to the hospice we'll ask you to sign in and we'll also ask you to, um, to clean your hands as well before you go through to the main care area. So let's go and have a look inside the main hospice now. So here we are in the main corridor of the hospice and as you can see we've tried to create a home from home atmosphere. There's lots of cheerful boards and posters and things for you to look at. Some of the things that our children have created, uh, there may be activities or information on the board, but it all helps to make the place look bright and cheerful as well. I'm stood right next to a board that has the photographs of all of our staff members. Um, there's quite a few people uh, to get to know, but it's a good place to come to if you've forgotten somebody's name and you can come and look and see who's on shift today. So this is our art room, which at the moment looks very, very tidy, but we really like to make a mess in here. This is a place where we bring children and we've got a plentiful supply of all kinds of art materials, paint, glue, glitter, all kinds of things like that. And it's a great place for children to come and spend their time. It's really nice um, for them to play and have fun, but also there's a therapeutic element to, to arts and crafts. And it's also really, really lovely if we can send children home or send families things that the child has made while they've been in this room. So they say the kitchen is the heart of the home and that's very much how we feel about the place here at Acorns. This is our dining room and as you'd expect it's full of tables and chairs. We can reconfigure this area for all different kinds of things, it's not just for eating. For example this morning we had a staff training uh, exercise in here. Um, we've got a piano, we've got a jukebox because we love music as well so there's often a sing song going on in here. We really like it if the staff and any children if possible or any visitors can come and eat together because then that's just like it is at home in your own families. So over here we've also got tea points. There's several tea points around the hospice, so there's always tea and coffee, refreshments available for anybody that needs it. We've also got a professional kitchen as well. Um, and it's a professional kitchen because we have to make sure that all the food that we prepare is done so according to regulations and hygienic. Uh, we also have two cooks who are very good at making sure all the children's dietary requirements are met, whether it's a vegetarian or whether it's a soft diet or whether it's a certain type of uh, allergy that has to be avoided, um, then our cooks are very, very good at making sure that all our meals are prepared in a safe way. So this is one of our children's bedrooms and it's typical of all the bedrooms that we've got here. It may seem pretty plain at the moment, but that's because there's no one resident in this bedroom, but we can make it personal. Um, you're very welcome to bring a few things in to make it personal for your child. We've got lots of different kind of duvets that we can brighten up the room and we can put things on the wall as well. It's also important to note that we do have hoists in here as well, in built hoists, so any children with mobility problems, we can transfer them easily and safely onto their bed. Um, each of our rooms come with washing facilities, there's a sink and there's plenty of storage space uh, and the rooms are quite airy and, and uh, large so we can bring in anything like medical equipment or any other chairs and tables that may need to be in here. It's also worth me pointing out that all of our children's bedrooms face out onto our middle garden so there's always a really lovely view out of the window. Okay, so this is one of two lounges that we've got that is just a different place for our children to come and hang out in. This one is dedicated to the younger children really, and as you can see it's very bright and cheerful. We've got lots of toys, games, videos, DVDs, uh, we can dress up and we can play music in here. It's a really nice space for our children and families to, to come and hang out. We've got all different kinds of chairs and we can put mats on the floor if your child wants to be on the floor or running around in here. And again, just like our bedrooms, we've got doors that open up into the garden. So in the summertime, we really, really like to get outside, even if it's just for a few minutes for the children to get a breath of fresh air. Okay, so I've come upstairs now, and this is what we call our family flat. This is a special part of the hospice, um, and it's a place where families can come to if, for example, the child is with us for the first time and we're doing an assessment and we need to get to know the family as much as a child. It's a nice place to relax in. Um, on occasions it's okay for family members to stay over if that's required, 
um, and it's another nice bright airy space um, there's bathrooms here we've got a kitchen some nice lounge areas and a TV so it can be very very informal and relaxed in here so I'm here in our multi-sensory room and this is a much loved and well used part of our hospice it's a place where children can come and relax um, we've got all kinds of technical equipment that will show light displays and we can play music in here and all sorts of tactile and sensory things that children can enjoy and just enjoy hanging out and having a relaxed time uh, with a member of staff or their families. So this is another one of our lounges, a place where our children can hang out. This one really is probably for the older children. It was actually some of our adolescents who chose the colour scheme for in here. But it's another place that they can hang out, there's some comfy sofas, there's plenty of space for beds and wheelchairs to be brought in here so that the children can all get together and feel, feel part of the family. Um, we've got a TV with all kinds of things on there, it may be videos or watching a Disney film or it might be playing FIFA or all kinds of computer games and things like that. We're really lucky here with all the facilities that we've got to entertain children. We've also got a small garden as well that's just outside this lounge. So again, in the summer we like to open the doors and we even grow strawberries and feed birds and things out there. So lots of things to keep the children entertained. So here we are, back where we began in the reception area. But before you go, I suppose it's important for me to tell you about the staff that work here. We're open 24 hours a day and we have specialist paediatric nurses who work here, care assistants, physiotherapists. Uh, and we also have a sibling worker and a play worker. We also have a lot of support staff which include administration, managers, housekeepers, but we're all one big friendly happy family. Um, there's probably lots of questions that you may have that's specific to your case, but I'm sure we'll be able to answer those when we meet you. But we look forward to meeting you soon, but for now I hope you've enjoyed the tour and we'll see you soon. Bye for now.